we head now to central Otago. In this environment, it's important to use food sources that are economically and environmentally viable. Greenfield is the largest lucerne grower in New Zealand, with 25,000 hectares of land under management. Lucerne is a high-protein forage feed and an efficient converter of water to dry matter, ideal for lamb finishing in a dry environment. Greenfield was established in 2005. It was set up as specialists in investment in and management of agribusinesses. We've got a variety of funds. One of our more well-known ones is specialised in sheep and beef farming. We manage about 25,000 hectares. There's about 20,000 of that down here in central Otago. Our main goal is to give uh, cash yields um, back to our investors, year-on-year um, year sustainable cash yields. We look for, um, for, we feel that both economics and environmental can uh, go hand in hand. The opportunity for Greenfield is that we see farming in New Zealand being one big grass factory and effectively we try and grow as much pasture or legumes as possible and then utilise as high a percentage of that as possible. And so it's not overly complicated, it's just about maximising that growth and turning it into a return. We do a lot of joint relationships with a variety of customers and what we're trying to do is add value to all parts of, of the chain. A lot of the traditional farmers around here are breeding operations. There's been a large area of potential finishing farms have gone into dairy, urban sprawl, etc. So we saw an opportunity to turn what was traditional breeding country into finishing country, and this gives a linkage to the rest of the market. The properties are um, destocked uh, during winter, um, very little growth from the species we grow during that period, um, and that gives the um, properties a chance to, um, to have a spell. It gives uh, longevity in the pastures, it also stops potential problems with erosion, runoff into waterways, etc. So it's a win-win as far as um, the economics of the business and the environment. This particular model is relatively new to a certain degree, um, although there, has, um, there are pockets of people that, are, that have been doing it. And it all just comes back to that philosophy of being a grass factory, um, which is what all New Zealand farming is ultimately about. The lambs are made up of a mix of lambs that we own and lambs that we finish on behalf of other parties. The majority is done for other parties and it's all about adding some value to their already valuable product and then sharing it in that wealth with them. So a lot of these traditional farms don't have the ability to do any finishing and this way they can still share in some of the ownership of those lambs and get some of the wealth that's created by taking them that extra stage. We do a variety of uh, hoggets for people as well. Pretty much all classes of stock are covered at certain times of the year. The, the system ultimately starts growing about late September, early October, and then is finished by sort of April. There are supplements made. Most of the supplements, though, are made for um, cut and carry. Um, we feed very little supplements out on farm ourselves. Um, it's all about maximising um, the growth and, and best matching uh, feed demand to our feed supply curve. So there are times when supplements are, are made, but they are generally sold into other parts of the industry that require them, um, being the dairy industry, etc. Julie Kearney, who did her honours degree in Lucerne at Lincoln University, is responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the crop. The monitoring of our Lucerne is critical to our system. Unless we understand exactly what's going on, we can't gauge whether we've been successful or not. Fiona is my junior agronomist and she does all of the technician type work, so all of the cuts. Um, each property has approximately 40 cages on them across different classes of country and, and different pasture types. And we just can build up a real picture of what is happening on each of the properties. It's really important to know what the growth curve of our lucerne is so that we can set our, our stocking management around it. The soil moisture is also another thing we monitor as there becomes a point where the soil moisture gets so low that we won't be seeing a, a lot growing at all. Management is the key to the success of lucerne. Um, it's a crop that we can't set stock and if we do set stock it we won't see the persistence. It's important that we, we're on about five to seven day um, grazing rotations with about 30 to 40 day um, intervals in between. Um, if, if, if we do set stock the lucerne, um, the stock actually basically takes the grazing, uh, the, the growing point off the next rotation's growth and we just won't see the, um, the yields or the persistence. Autumn flowering is critical. 
Basically what the autumn flowering does, it's partitioning the carbohydrates from the leaves into the root system and that in turn is your production for the spring. If you don't allow it to flower, you basically won't see your spring production. Historically, the trend towards leucine has decreased due to people having troubles with disease and pests and, and the leucine stands not persisting. Um, with the new technologies and new breeding programs available to Lucerne, we've actually able to see some better varieties come out of that. So we're not seeing the disease and pest problems as we did years ago. Um, aphids would be probably one of the, the main pests. It's a tonal weevil. So these are things that we just, we just monitor on a monthly basis just to ensure that if there are pests there, we, we, will, we would spray for them or would graze them or we'd do what we need to do. Lucerne is a very high energy plant, that's why it's key to our finishing system. The leaf of lucerne, we're looking at about 12 and a half megajoules of ME, whereas you, you could look at a traditional ryegrass pasture and um, depending on the ni nitrogen content of it, we might be looking at an ME of eight or nine. Nitrogen fixation is critically important in this environment. If you want a high water use efficiency, you've got to have um, nit nitrogen in your system. So as Lucerne's fi fixing its own nitrogen, it's ensuring that it is grown at, at its highest potential. We have maintenance dressings. Depending on what each paddock needs, we do yearly soil testing. Um, we don't use any um, nitrate-based fertilisers. Um, it tends to be um, sulphur supers. We've been very pleased with the investment in Otago. It's certainly running, um, running to budget um, and, and ahead of budget as far as um, performance goes and um, we've been yeah, very, very pleased. This programme was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.